for like all of five seconds. Hey, what's going on, guys? This is Heimcake or I Black Cat. Today we are going to finish the rest of the tutorial by adding in our own themes into Teamspeak. Now, to do so, we have to go to my team, my Teamspeak. You can also go to myteamspeak.com or you can go to Google and type in my Teamspeak and click on the first link, which is myteamspeak.com. Now you're given a window like this. I'm gonna make the make it a little bit bigger so it's easier to see. Here we have a uh, button that says add-ons and a bunch of other stuff that are down below. This is just to give you an idea of what you can do to Teamspeak and how visually stunning you can make it look. Now a lot of these themes aren't very nice but most of them are and I promise you there are plenty of themes out there that will suit to your standards. If you go to add-ons and move over to the from box and click the drop down box from all click on style and click search that's going to limit the search only to styles now we have 32 results I do remember back then we had way more I believe this is the incorrect website I am pretty sure there is another website that we can access and we're gonna go ahead and prove my theory so we're gonna do Google TeamSpeak themes and we're gonna go ahead and click the first link so we have a bunch of skins here we have a Battlefield 3 skin, Daisy skin, military sound pack looks a bit like um, you know I don't I couldn't even tell you to be honest with you but whatever uh, Call of Duty, Minecraft, we, you know we have a bunch of skins all right, so I guess for for this video, we're gonna go ahead and do a couple skins. So we're gonna go ahead and click on Minecraft, and we have a installation instruction. Double click the download file, and Teamspeak will do the rest for you. All right, so back then, I actually do remember, or I do recall, that uh, in order to install Teamspeak themes, we had to actually download the file itself, and it would be a zip folder, and we would have to actually go into our local drive and look for the TeamSpeak uh, client folder and actually put in the TeamSpeak skin folder into the TeamSpeak folder manually and then we would have to re restart TeamSpeak and, and then uh, go into our options go to design and you know select the options manually but now they made it so TeamSpeak will automatically read the TeamSpeak skin format and put it and install it into your client automatically so you no longer have to do it manually it'll also put in the folder in the correct place as well which is really really neat they actually recently did this I think back in 2013 or 14 ish I think maybe even 15 to be honest with you I don't really recall the exact time but they, I do remember that back then you had to do it manually, manually and now you do not have to do that it's very very easy to do we're gonna, gonna go ahead and click download now with the other website, um, we have a few options here, but this other website has uh, uh, more options that are more appealing, and, and you know, but whatever the case is, uh, whatever we need to do to get our theme, we're we are going to use that. So when you download the file, you're gonna get a box like this. You have chosen to open Minecraft Skin TS3 underscore style. That's basically our Minecraft theme for Teamspeak. Um, Whatever browser you have it opened as, it'll you know it'll say what what should your browser do with this file. We're gonna open with and the Teamspeak 3 package installer, which is the default. You can choose another program, but there's no need. We are using Teamspeak, so we're gonna use the default, which is Teamspeak 3, and click OK. You're gonna get another box called Teamspeak Add-on, and here actually this is a link where you can click on Teamspeak and it'll open up Teamspeak.com the add-ons page where you can also look for other skins and other custom customizations sound packs and what have you uh, if the box is still open this is the box we have the Minecraft skin name the type the author who created this the version a lot of themes that are created a lot of people add new things or patch uh, you know missing graphics or whatever so they'll have different versions and stuff like that but for this one it's 1.0 the platform that this is available on and a description you're basically just gonna click install 
and like the installation instructions said we're going to click install and these people do the rest for you the box says add-on successfully installed do you wish to activate this add-on yes we want this add-on to be activated so it's going to automatically restart our TeamSpeak and when TeamSpeak opens up we will have the theme installed uh, give me it one second. I need to minimize this and go to TeamSpeak. Right here. So our Minecraft theme is now theme is now installed. It looks very funky and is really really weird. But if you know how to use TeamSpeak, by now everything should be simple. And if you don't know where anything is, like the mute microphone, activate microphone, or mute speakers, you can move your mouse over the icon to see what it is. So we're gonna go back to Rogue Seven, and this looks so different. I'm going to go ahead and maximize everything. I honestly do not like how this looks because there's no background here for some reason, which is very strange. But as you can see, we have a theme applied, and it looks pretty decent. Uh, everything looks really simple and a lot more cleaner in a way uh, and it just looks great in my opinion but this theme particularly doesn't look 100% so we're gonna go ahead and check out other themes that are out there let's check out this blood moon here download I okay so your platform my platform is Windows 64 bit but if you have a 32 bit you click the drop down and click on Windows 32 bit and download it for Windows 32 I have Windows 64 so I'll be using Windows 64 bit click on install yes restart my TeamSpeak for some reason it doesn't restart my TeamSpeak so I will do it myself now my theme is added and for some reason the Minecraft icons are still there Rogue 7. This looks pretty awesome. Connected. So this is basically like the default TeamSpeak skin except everything is red and black. I absolutely love this theme. It looks beautiful. We're going to go ahead and check out some other themes just for the heck of it. Why not? Let's do a... Uh, I do remember using a Diablo skin. Diablo skin was pretty sick, so we're gonna go ahead and use that. Click OK. It's gonna automatically download here. Once it downloads, it'll open up a new box. <laughs> click install, click OK. If TeamSpeak doesn't restart, close TeamSpeak and reopen it. Now we have the Diablo skin. For some reason these icons are not changing and I honestly don't know why. Let's go ahead and figure out why. Oh, that's why the icon pack. So we're going to change the icon pack to TeamSpeak Origin. There you go. So we have the default TeamSpeak icons. Maybe we'll try something else. Do uh, TeamSpeak colored, apply, click yes. That looks even better. Perfect. So now we're going to jump into Rogue 7. We have the Diablo skin activated. The chat has a nice little background. Everything looks beautiful. And I think I'm going to go ahead and stick with this one for now. Or perhaps we'll even do the uh, black theme. Now, optionally, you can keep downloading more and more skins or if you want to go back to a previous one you would go to uh, options design and go under theme and click the theme that you had downloaded I believe we're gonna go with blood moon and click apply you can also change the transparency although that's not re really recommended okay and that's basically it guys, that's how you install themes into TeamSpeak, that's how you use them, that's how you change back to old ones that you had previously downloaded. You can also download more, or whatever you want to do. And it's very, very easy, TeamSpeak does all the hard work for you, all you need to do is install them, and activate it. So I'll see you guys later in the next one, I guess.
Peace out.